Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to make a quick video on how to repair the gears in your Power HD servo. It's going to be a quick video, quick gear replacement set. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so the only tools you're going to need are these two tools right here. 1.5mm driver and a flathead screwdriver. So, I'm going to crack open the case, four screws. If you like the bench videos and the how-to videos, and also repairing RC parts, drop a like click. Also consider subscribing if you aren't already. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. But it's a very straightforward thing to do. I've replaced the gear set on one of these Power HD servos I have before. Open that top case. See if we can spot, yep, right here. Oh, right there. Couple missing teeth on the gears right there. So, we're gonna go ahead and replace all the gears inside the servo because it comes with all of them. Might as well. So it does come with one bearing already pre-installed inside the main gear. If I remember correctly, we need to reuse this bearing and there's also a little o-ring you want to be very careful with because that's what seals dirt and water and everything from getting inside. Same with this o-ring on the outside here. I'm not even going to touch that one because if you pull it off it might ruin it. Don't want to damage the seal. Okay so just pull these two gears off. They come off together. Definitely helps if you have a uh, picture of every, how everything goes together before you pull the gears off. I'm not sure if I can get this bottom one off. I think I have to completely tear apart the case to get the bottom one off. Pretty sure I skipped replacing that one before. And I'm gonna skip replacing that one again. Okay, so that threw me off for a second there. This gear is just a different color, and that's the one we need to replace. Kind of threw me off when I saw that they're, that they're a different color, but shouldn't matter. This might be a stronger steel. And these gears kind of go on together. Or actually, since the bearing isn't on there yet, you don't have to put them on together. basically all we need to do. All new gears, we just gotta pull off this bearing and o-ring. I usually do. 
Just gently work the o-ring upwards with the flathead screwdriver. force to get this bearing off. There it goes. Press that onto the top gear there. that's fully seated down and the o-ring just gently place on top and there it is Brand new gear set, all the bearings that we needed are on. We're going to add a little dab of grease to these gears. Too much, just a few dabs here and there. Okay, and we should be good to put everything back together now. case because it's got some damage in there. Right in there. A couple teeth must have collided and stuffed up the inside of the case there. Once that's all clean, good to throw it back on. There we go. Didn't need to buy a new servo. The gear set only costs about $20. 
I'd say it's definitely worth it to keep a decent servo around. And it's going to be an upgrade for my Zool. The Zool only has the stock servo in it still, 15 kg. So this 25 kg, give it that nice extra torque. And before the Zool servo blows up, because it was twitching on me a couple of times on my last run. Alright, hopefully that might help anyone out that hasn't done a gear replacement. It's not too bad. And uh, like I said, I would recommend replacing all of them since it comes with every single gear to replace. Alright guys, if you like this video, drop a like. Also consider subscribing if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.